Hi, it's Jory, and today I'm going to be watching The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 7, A Dangerous Debt. And they do indeed have a dangerous debt. And not only do they have a dangerous debt, they have actively just tried to swindle the Pikes. It might have even been better if they just said, we were attacked by bandits, they stole everything. <laughs> oh, maybe you should have hired a ship with guns. I don't know. I feel like then the Pikes most likely would have killed them and taken their ship or taken them as slaves. I just, I'm just i stressed about where this is going to go as it is. A reminder that you can find the unedited, ver unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. That word is becoming one I cannot say. I say it so often. And the edited version one week in advance on my Patreon. And let's go. The last person that was in prison here was there for 10 years. The Pikes turn spice into something that ruins lives. So those lives would be on you. Says who? That's just the way it is. It's knowledge. You profit from other people's suffering. We got a regular Jedi. Huh. What if I was? There was a prison break on the surface of Coruscant, where you live. Some gangster named Zero. Mm -hmm. Then came the Jedi. There was a populated landing platform right in the path of the ship. But the Jedi steered it clear of that. Right into the portal wall. And on the other side of that wall was our home. <sighs> Mom and Dad saw it coming. They got Rafa and I out. They weren't so lucky. The Jedi didn't even catch a zero. The distraction of the ship helped him get away. They tried to save lives, even though they failed. They aren't perfect. She said, I had to make a choice, but not to worry. The Force will be with you. That's it. I mean, from the sounds of it, it's almost like the trolley problem, isn't it? You know, r kill a hundred people on the populated pl landing or risk killing someone if there is somebody there in the building that you go into. And as much as I don't want to ever have to make any choices like that, it's one of those things where if there really is no third option, then I guess that was the better option. But to say to a grieving child who, like, well, you know, I had to make a choice, but the force will be with you. I know she meant that to be comforting, but you have to kind of say, like, I, I am beyond sorry. Like, I had to do it because it was, I know to you it won't seem that way. You know, like, try and explain it more and just offer more help and guidance to anyone whose lives are disrupted by the Jedi. And it's about us. Not depending on Jedi or these mm. criminals or anyone else. I know. We make our own rules and we survive just but fine. It's not right for you to say you Oh, people being used as slaves, but we benefit, that's fine. People's lives being destroyed by drugs, that's fine. But Ahsoka knows just what they're talking about and she's now even more scared to tell them who she is. This is real, Rafa. Oh God. Hate the people on Kessel scammed us. There was a malfunction. The ships knew they didn't check it properly, and it accidentally vented its hold. We're so sorry. Again, it's not a good answer. Since that day, it's really been us versus everyone else. And it shouldn't be, especially given that it was an accident the Jedi were involved in. Sweetheart. These stupid brave girls. Please tell me she has a plan. Good, good. First signs of hope. Oh god, she is I mean if they if she manages this. With zero training, the Pikes need better guards, though I suppose they didn't exactly send their elite team to get three useless kids to tell them where some spice was. Oops, some allies in the mission of escape. I mean, I want to say allies, just they'll cause chaos. You gotta be kidding me. We came to rescue you. There's no time for this, children! Oh. Come on. oh lord. If they escape it is because the pikes have far too much complacency in their systems. Oh lord. A 
Ahsoka's gonna have to reveal she's a Jedi in this escape, isn't she? Oh my god. <laughs> Clearly her, 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 her species are very, very good at jumping. Plus, you're both right in some ways and you're both wrong in others. Soga is far more experienced at this kind of mission than you, though normally she has like some measure of Jedi backup. At least on her own, there's no holding back her skills. Mm hmm. Always. They're always in trouble. Oh dear. Oh, it's gonna be guarded. You might be cut out for this, just trying to do what's best. I know, but you are making a lot of bad choices too. The angel is parked on one of the landing platforms. All we have to do is find a way up there. That's that'll be easy. This is just I mean, it, it, it's a bit beyond like a so could get off this world by herself, but with these two that have no experience in this. They're now going to be in a chase like the one that their parents died in. Interesting. Well, they under. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that they will, oh god, will ever be like, yes, what happened to our parents was well, so worthwhile, but will they understand that sometimes in these kind of situations it isn't as easy as you'd want it to be? Oh, Mandalorians! Oh my god, I didn't recognize the freaking masks! With the hoods. Oh, we may very much need your help too. Though I don't know why you're here. Did you honestly think you'd get away with fooling a pike? Well, uh, I mean, we wouldn't have tried if we didn't think. Kill them. <laughs> this is not the way I saw this job ending. You'd be a bit more concerned, wouldn't you, about, you know, you and your sister dying than just like, oh, this isn't how I thought this would end, lol. Well, haven't we all? But there is only one person to blame for us being involved in this planet in the first place. Fucking hell. This is so great. Truly, you'd put them in separate cells. Okay. This is the realization we need. And then Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. I like this. Character growth. Okay, so this was, you know, these haven't been like the best episodes ever, but I am really enjoying seeing the everyday lives of citizens. I'm finding out that they've ended up kind of in this desperate straits because of a Jedi's carelessness. And even if it wasn't carelessness in the act that killed their parents, because like I said, I can kind of understand that when you have these situations going on, like the chase they were in, if you realise that, you know, you can kill one person, in, but... In, and by saving 50 people you can just cause one death it's not a good thing and no one should be able to go to bed like oh what a pleasant day that was but I still think it's better than killing 50 to save one now I there should never be situations like that but that's not the reality of it the the carelessness was the oh I, I made the choice I had to may the force be with you no not to grieving children and grieving family members. Maybe if Jedi were taught more about fucking attachments and how to deal with them. Um, oh, I can't even imagine someone saying that to your face. Like, the Jedi, if they cause the accidental death of a civilian, the Jedi should do everything they can to care for the immediate family. And yes, the immediate family may be pretty pissed with you, may not want that help, but whether it is making sure that their children that you have just orphaned have enough food on the table, a place to eat, you know, a place to sleep even. I, I, it baffles me that the Jedi genuinely think they are these high and mighty wonderful superior people when they make such basic, blatant, stupid, awful, terrible, life-ruining mistakes to other people. Now that is not to say that I think the Jedi are bad, they aren't, but 
the Jedi really walk around as though they are these heroes of legend, and they can be, that is for sure, but if you're squashing the little people you're trying to protect in the process, you're not really being a hero. Um, of course the Jedi aren't going to last all that much longer, are they? So it doesn't matter either way. Um, I will just say that I believe my son made the right choice. Um, but I think it does show you the stark realities, and you almost wish that the Jedi had got to survive. I mean, in general, I wish that. I don't wish death on any of them. Um, but that Ahsoka had been able to go back to them and to be like, look, in my time away, um, I'm not even necessarily here to join you again. You need to do better. Like, I have found this, 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 and this, but all go against the Jedi Code. Also, these bits of the Jedi Code we could change, because that is so the truth. I don't know how much longer the sisters are going to go without realising Ahsoka is a Jedi, because she she keeps using her abilities, and of course she does. She needs to use them so they can live. Um... But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, especially if they've earned a lot of trust with each other. Even Rafa has learnt, is beginning to trust and respect Ahsoka a little bit. To then find out she's one of these people, but then she she left them. It's not like she's there as a spy. I don't know, I feel like that could be messy. Um, but I did really like Rafa finally saying, I'm so sorry I got us into this mess. I should never have taken this job. I think, you know, that is all I really wanted from her because it was really frustrating to me that she was acting like, oh, you know, my life's hard, therefore I can do no wrong. And it's like, no, no, those two things don't go in. Getting a system filled without telling her all the details wasn't good. And given that the first sign of stress, she just dumped all the spies. She clearly wasn't ready for this kind of job in the first place. And that is why she wasn't telling her the true details of it all. But it just, it, it's, it's a whole mess that they've got themselves into. But the Jedi could have done stuff, done so much to help them not end up in this mess, but because they weren't force sensitive children, the Jedi did not care. Um, so that is really something that Jedi need to look into. Yes, maybe in the moment that Jedi made the right choice, but she then made a lot of bad choices. Um, then we have the Mandalorians. The first time we saw the person, I thought it was a pike <laughs> because of the slitherer I got under the hood. I was kind of trying to work it out and then it moved on and I was just distracted. But there are Mandalorians here. Sounded like Bo Katan. Now, what is happening? I'm so intrigued. I'm very excited to see where they're going to go. I assume they're going to help Ahsoka escape and then try and get her to help them in whatever they're doing in return. So, that's going to be an interesting arc going forward. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. And thank you so much for watching.